So hey everyone, it's Manuel here, and in this video, they are cleaning everything up because they are ashamed of their dust. <laughs> in this video, I'm gonna be photographing my friend Rita at her home as she completes a commissioned portrait of my great-grandmother. This will be my birthday present to mi abuela, as all she has to remember her mom by are a few blurry photos. This will also be the second time I ask Rita to do this. First time being a similar okay. present for my grandfather. Yeah? Yeah. You too. I don't think I'll be getting the same reaction from my grandmother since she is expecting this, but I think it'd be nice for them to both have something as an ofrenda for this upcoming Dia de los Muertos. That's gonna be today's video, so stay tuned for that. that her likeness gets translated into what we're gonna do. So what I like to do before I get started with this, because I'm gonna trace this, and then I'm gonna trace it with tracing paper so I can have a better version of it. On the photography side of things, I mainly use my Nikon F3 with some leftover Kodak Color Plus before switching over to Lomography's 400 speed film. And I might have also shot a couple of Polaroids. So uh, Rita's stressing out because the photos are really poor quality and she doesn't have a lot to work with. The main issue is that it's very fucking blurry. But what I'm trying to get her to understand is that her painting already made one person cry, which is my grandpa. Whatever she gives, even if it's like halfway decent, it's gonna be a lot better than some blurry photos hidden away in a drawer. So I understand the struggle as an artist. You know, you always think you can do better, especially because you're so intimately involved with the personal work. What are we doing now, Rita? Trace. I don't have a light box, so I'm improvising. Wait, but they're closed in the picture, but you're gonna draw them open? No, they're open, but they're like slit. Oh, got it, got it. They're old lady eyeballs. Like the bands? Yes. Old lady eyeballs. Anyways, I just finished up the Kodak Color Plus and I'm gonna be switching over to Lomo 400 now, which is, I know a cheap film, but the colors are pretty good. So I'm gonna be doing that now. Show the people. You can't really tell it's there though. Puppy filter. So hit up uh, Rita here for puppy filter drawings. All right, it's getting a little later in the day and the sun's going down super fast. It's getting a lot darker than I initially planned. And I already took a few shots on the 400 speed film but I decided to actually sacrifice those few shots and I'm gonna instead go uh, by pushing the film an extra two stops. So I'm gonna be rating the film at 1600. Did it. Here you go, friend. Thanks, I hate it. Thank you. 
And that's the video. Thank you to everyone who stuck through to the end and a hello to everyone joining from that Ectochrome video. I had a lot of fun talking to some of you in the comments and I hope to keep bringing you some interesting content. I'm planning to do more uh, personal shoots like this, so I'd like to hear what you all have to say about this one. Since I'm always worried about coming off as self-absorbed or dragging on the tempo of a video, feedback would very much be appreciated. Anyways, thanks again everyone. Keep chasing that light.